Hello everyone, um, it is myself, Oliver, and Pete just here. Uh, and, we, <laughs> and we are at the Diamond Horseshoe. Um, you know it doesn't work like when I can see you doing it. You've got to be doing it behind my back for it, it to works work. whenever I do it. It's <laughs> We're here at the Diamond Horseshoe and we are going to uh, have ourselves some dinner. So um, here at the Diamond Horseshoe is a family style restaurant where they just keep bringing the food to you. Is that correct? And by family we mean king. It's exactly very king. <laughs> yeah, no, it's family style and I haven't, I'm excited because I haven't done this. This is uh, only about three months ago they started doing this and uh, right now the rumor is that it's seasonal only but I think if it's successful they might keep it open keep it open year round. But yep. We'll see. I'm interested to see how good the food is. We just actually ran into a couple of uh, listeners who uh, have eaten here a few times and said they really like the food. So I'm, uh, I'm holding you guys to that. We'll see how it is. Okay, so our server Jerry has been over to the table uh, and she's delivered a few things for us. Um, to start off with, we had a nice cornbread delivered and a salad. Um, starting from the top, the cornbread, uh, I've got to say, it's possibly the best cornbread I've ever had. I'm I can't go much. that far, I can't go that far, but I will say it's very, very good cornbread. It's a sweet cornbread with a honey butter. Oh my. I See, cornbread's one of those things that I've only ever ate since moving to America. Um, so I've not really had a lot of it, but since I've been here, um, yeah, I've really fell in love with it. And this is the first piece of cornbread I've had that tasted sweet straight away. It's, it's really good and it's complemented so well with that honey butter. Oh yeah. Um, I could honestly eat just that alone and I would be happy. And the danger is they'll just keep bringing more of it. So um, yeah, I've got now to the taste salad, myself. The salad, which is a basic green garden salad um, with a chipotle ranch dressing. That, I mean, Oliver put it best, he said, it's not good, but it isn't bad. It's just the salad. The nice thing I did like about the salad is what you noticed with the um, the croutons. The croutons were actually just smaller versions um, and they dry. They were like really dry toasted cornbread, yeah. a crouton, which I think is brilliant. Yeah, actually. it's a nice idea. Um, it's a shame the actual salad, the base of the salad was a bit yeah, of a the, sa the salad just had a very strong onion flavor to it. And yeah. I love onions, but I don't want it in every bite. Every, that flavor in every bite. So now we have just had our main course delivered, so we're going to try that and we'll come back and tell you what we thought. Can't wait. Okay, so we are all done with our meal at the Diamond Horseshoe. Um, overall, I would say it was extremely good. What did you think? Pete? I agree. I was actually quite surprised, especially since it shares a, um, it shares a kitchen with Liberty Tree Tavern. And I like Liberty Tree Tavern, but I wouldn't say that Liberty Tree Ta Tavern is very good. It's good. This was very good. Um, and what's interesting as well is Liberty, Tra uh, Liberty Tree Tavern is the uh, it's the same experience. It's the family style where they just keep right. bringing you the food. So, um, and I, I have to go. We have to mention Jerry, our server. This this woman Jerry, who's been working in the Magic Kingdom for 17 years. She was so awesome. She was fantastic. I mean, really great service, great Disney cast member. This is what cast members are supposed to be. She was incredible. Um, but back to the food. Um, family style, they served uh, pot roast, which was, yeah. I don't like pot roast, and this was really good. Baked beans, which were outstanding. I asked for the recipe, they were that good. Um, uh, they did uh, barbecue pulled pork, which was very good. They did uh, these sausages that were out of this world. They were very, very good. Really good sausages. Uh, homemade mac and cheese, which was good. Um, yeah. And corn on the cob. Corn on the cob was a little mushy, but it was still really tasty. Everything was fresh. That's what really struck me. Oh, and sliced turkey, yeah. um, which was really good. And she brought me out some turkey gravy just to be, just to be sweet. Um, I gotta tell you, uh, I was, you know, $33 a person. It really was, uh, it really was good. It was really very good. I would absolutely go back there again. Right now it's on a uh, seasonal basis. They're saying it's gonna close July 4th um, and only open up when they need it, but uh, there's actually some, we're hearing some uh, rumblings that they may keep it open because it's gone over really well. So if Disney's watching, keep it open. This is a good, good addition 
to the offerings at the Magic Kingdom, and I think that they, they should absolutely keep this. Just before we finish the video, two things. Your drink, I want to mention that, because that was outstandingly good as well. Yeah, yeah, I kind of cheated a little bit with my, <laughs> with my diet, and I went, I forgot what it was called though. It was the prairie, it was like the prairie dog or prairie something uh, lemonade, the watermelon lemonade. It was watermelon lemonade and it was good. Well, I'd say it was about 10% watermelon lemonade and 90% sugar. But, yeah, um, it was, it was <laughs> good. It was good. But I'm having like blood sugar problems right now from drinking it. But. Yeah, fill in the uh, fallout. And also the uh, dessert, the chocolate brownie. Chocolate brownie, that was kind of a disappointment. The, it yeah. was. I, I was going to say, I'm not a big dessert person, so really it doesn't impact my experience. I will still eat here because the uh, the main was so exceptionally good. It doesn't really um, impact the way I feel about the restaurant, but it was a little bit of a letdown. So. It was. Uh, the brownie seemed like it was like store-bought. Yeah. And there was some uh, toasted marshmallow on the top with a graham cracker crust. Um, not, yeah, it was all right. Mediocre at best. I ate it. I ate it, but it was all right. Yeah. It was certainly not the highlight of the meal. No, no. Uh, salad, like I said, salad was a little bit of a boring salad. Dessert was kind of boring. Main course, which is what you're paying for, awesome. And ask for Jerry if you go there. Ask for Jerry. She was incredible. She was. So, all right. Well, that'll do it for our look at the Diamond Horseshoe dining experience. So, bye.